Well, this is the first time I've experienced the leaf battery or battery gate problem where the, uh, the fact that the leaf doesn't have an actively cooled battery pack. So I've driven down the road to Shrewsbury, Starbucks, and uh, yeah, I was hoping that the draft under the car might cool down the battery a bit, but um, it hasn't done. I'm still the same indication on the dash as I had when I left Telford. So, yeah, I don't know, I, I need about, um, well, ideally, 100 miles range to get where I want to get. I actually need about 85 or so. So, let's see if I can squeeze a bit more in, despite the battery being hot. And we'll see how we go. So, I'm on charge now. And uh, while I was plugging in the charger, the temperature has dropped one segment. So, maybe it has cooled off slightly on the, the drive over here. I was going pretty gently, just a sort of steady 60 or so along the, the motorway and around the Shrewsbury Ring Road. So, so maybe that was enough just to cool the battery down a bit. So we need about uh, 25 miles range added to what I've already got, so should hopefully pick that up in a few minutes. Okay, so I'm all uh, charged up, I think. 106 miles is more than enough. The battery temperature's gone up to the, uh, say, one down from the maximum. But um, yeah, it should be fine. I can cruise across to where I'm going and uh, should be no hassle. Hmm, interesting though. Okay, so I'm on the way now. But um, I've just come up a fairly serious hill, it's about 500 metres now above sea level. And uh, the battery. Yeah, and after coming up here, the, the battery was up in the red, so. I've stopped. It's actually just fallen back down now after a couple of minutes. So I'll let it cool down a bit more, I think. Because um, I guess it's going to warm up as I go down the hill. And it uh, regenerates, pushes power back into the battery. So yeah, I'll give it a few minutes. Maybe go down to one more segment and then uh, set off again.